Okay, hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, November 15th, 2017. Uh, I wanted to make a short video. I feel now is the time to put it out there. I am getting ready to run some errands, so I hope to not be on here very long. Um, I, want to re I want to release a couple things now that was given to me and that vision that I had a couple weeks ago, which was so uh, horrific. Um, at this time, I'm not allowed to release everything. The Lord has not, but I do have something that needs to be released now. I've been sitting on it. I don't know how this is all going to play out. I don't know. We're not given, the Lord has not given me everything, but I'm going to give you what I have. We need, we need saints of God to be praying about our children or grandchildren if you have them under the age or the age of two and under. There is going to be an attack by these alien forces. There's just going to be an attack and, and, um, they're using the government, they're using the Illuminati, they're using people, they are using them. That is why we are seeing the um, chemtrails, we are seeing the horrific shootings that are taking place. We can sit there and say, well, it's the shadow government, it's the this or that, but behind all of that are fallen demons. They're alien. They are here. They are plotting and planning um, an attack on children that are two years of age and younger. And as if you recall in the Bible at the time when uh, Jesus was expected to be born that Herod, you know, in his jealousy and rage to stay in the position he was in, he had ordered children two years of age and younger to be killed. Um, that was one of the most horrific things I saw in this, coming out of this uh, vision that I had a couple weeks ago. Um... There are other things, but they're not worth me going into to you because it will just create a lot of fear and anxiety, and that's not what I'm here for. That's not what the Lord wants us to have is a to be in a state of fear all the time. So... This was one of the things that there is a horrific attack coming against small babies, children, you know, toddlers, if you will. So begin to pray. Begin to pray. I have no idea how this is going to take place, when it will take place, but I saw it happening and I was very sick inside. Please, people, pray. Stay under the protection. This is why I'm coming out early. I don't know all the details. I only can give you what God allows me to give out, what the Holy Spirit says is okay, nothing more and nothing less. I'm not going to give any opinion on this. Just remember the attack that King Herod had. And I'll put the scriptures below. It's going to be a very similar attack, only it's going to be much worse. People, please pray. I heard it in my spirit during that time. There is going to be weeping, weeping, weeping all over this land. And I know that is in regard to America, to the United States. Please pray. I have pretty much resolved what I have seen in this, this vision that I had. 
And since I'm not at liberty to give everything out, it would serve no purpose for me to do so unless God sees fit that there's something we need to know because it's only going to cause and inflict fear and even possibly pain. It's not pretty. It was not pretty at all. The other thing that I wanted to let you know is that out of this also, whew, this has been playing in my spirit. I've debated on whether I'm to release it. I debated on whether I was ever to even to bring it up because I'm not here to debate anything. I'm not here to debate controversial doctrine or anything else. Because if you remember, when Jesus sent his disciples out, he sent them out without money, without anything. And he didn't tell them to stay in the town when things were not well received and they didn't like it. He didn't tell them stay in town and debate it. He said, move on, dust, the, dust your feet off. Dust your shoes. Move on. Don't stay there and debate. He didn't tell them, just stay there and keep debating. He said, move on. You know? We have to move on. We have to move on. I want to encourage those that are being called. I know this in my spirit. There's many out here. Nothing has been said. I haven't heard anything. I haven't received anything from anybody, but there's several people that are being called um, into a different level of authority. Um, and they are wondering if it's from the Lord or what they need to do. And they're very concerned about it because where much is given, much is required. I was given... Um, Last week I was given in a vision. I'm only sharing this a little bit. It it was pretty much personal for me, but I want to bring it out because it is involving other people that are receiving some types of assignment. I was given two mantles that the Lord put over me. I was not given a lot of detail. I just know he walked up to me and he put two mantles. He raised them, put them over me. And he said that I would be walking now in a higher, in another realm, in a higher realm of glory. I would be walking in a new realm. So I am praying. I was not given any um, complete understanding of the mantles as far as what they were. But it does involve some others that are getting ready to now move into a new level, okay, into a new heavenly realm. Remember, we go from glory to glory. And it is because we have been pruned. It is because that we are ready. The Lord says we are ready. But we cannot fear. We cannot shrink back. That there is a new level of authority uh, going out in the realm of the spirit. And a new awakening is going to come to the people. You see, God is moving just like Satan moves his army and his people, <coughs> his demons. God has a remnant. God has an army. God has people he's calling out now because... They've been made ready, and they are open to whatever God wants to do, and they don't have anything particularly holding them back. But there will be, but with this greater anointing, with this um, realm, it will be more responsibility. It will be a lot that's required and if you're not really going to re receive and accept the responsibility that goes with it then you need to just not um, 
be a part of it. If you're not willing to die to self, you know, then there's no reason to expect God to give you everything when you are not walking in the spirit and you're not walking in the authority and power that the Lord has given you. And I know that many are not walking and know the authority that has been given them. And this is partly why we are weak. Many are weak and have no way, they have no power to resist the enemy. You know, the word of God says resist the devil and he has to flee. And that with every temptation, he does give us a way of escape. But we're not applying what we know the word of God to be. We're not applying it to our lives. And so we lack power and authority. And this is a very bad time to be this way because we need to be ready to move forward and to be able to stand when the enemy attacks. We need to be able to minister to those that are going to be less fortunate and be in a lot of things so that when they come, we are ready to assist them. Now, when you talk about demons and fallen angels, which, by the way, I just the other day saw them. God allowed me to see him once more. I'm just going to go back. They were in my home a couple years ago, about two or three years ago, in the spirit. There were six of them. They were shrouded in long, dark capes or robes. I could not see anything. They did not say anything, but their presence also was known because I was in the middle of writing a second manuscript in regards to hell and I saw my pages that I was writing they were blowing you know they were kind of turning and so even though they were not there of course physically they were there in the spiritual realm and they were as they went by there was a kind of a like pages were turning and I thought at the time that maybe they were trying to get a hold of that manuscript because there was a lot in there and they were going to try to tear it up or do something to it so it would not go out. But fortunately, that was not the case. And the reason why I didn't see them at anything but them in robes is because they were disembodied spirits, disembodied entities, and they really do need a body. Now they are here. They are functioning in the world. And I'm going to go into more detail. We have a very serious problem now because these eight fallen demons are here. I want to say something else that come out of my vision. <clears throat> and the Lord spoke to me about this. And I'm just going to tell you, here it is. I'm just going to lay it out. Some of the dreams or visions that people are having about the rapture, be very careful <clears throat> because some of those dreams and visions are not from God, but they are seeing an alien counterfeit rapture. <clears throat> Excuse me. And because of that, they are believing. I'm not saying they're all like that. I'm not pointing. I'm just saying in general, be very careful because there are some stuff coming out in regard to the rapture, regard to being taken up and we're going to be out of here type thing that they're actually seeing the planning of a counterfeit alien rapture event coming. And it's coming soon. And I know a lot of people have heard the term blue beam rapture. Um, alien forces will do this. 
you will be surprised at the technology and how fast the people will fall for it. Um, the other thing the Lord told me are we are going to see some things coming soon in these days that is going to affect this nation as a whole. It's going to affect the government as a whole and the whole thing. We are seriously going to see some Christians affected because these because of the fact that though we have the power and we should be in daily spiritual warfare, many do not know how to use that that's been given them. And aliens are infiltrating. I know I'm getting calls and stuff about foreign alien demons that are in people that are professing Christ. And I know some of them to be true. Not all of them are. But I do know, and it is because they do not know how to use their authority. We have to understand, people. We have to understand the Word of God. I don't know everything, but I know what God has shown me, and I'm not sure about what, where this is all going to take me. But I can tell you this. The evil and the attacks are rising. They're increasing, and they are alarming. I've never seen so much. And I'm not going to go into any phone calls because they're personal. And, and, and I would not do that to people. I'm not here to embarrass them. I'm here to help them. But don't think that you're immune to all this. Be very careful you don't get too flippant and think that nothing's going to happen. Just be very, very careful. That's all I can say. Go to the Lord. Go to the Holy Spirit, but be very wise in your dealings and the choices. And be very wise in who you mingle with. Because I'm going to tell you right now, there are reptilian fallen demons that have infiltrated the earth fear. Okay, that the earth fear. And, and they are in different realms, but they all operate the same way. And they can make things look really good. And you will not always recognize them in a human form. So you're going to have to know by the spirit. Yes, I know people are talking about the, sh the, the shift shaper, the shaper of the eyes. Yes, but that's not all of it. No, that's just not all of it. There's a lot more to it. These also can take the form of, a, of an animal. Okay? A lot of people are dealing with this animalistic spirit. Oh my gosh. Marine spirits. That kind of thing. I've, I know because I'm talking to people. They're coming. I'm doing a lot of deliverance right now and I'm I've gotten tired and I'm trying to take it because I've got so I've got to balance everything because we have our services and I have stuff I have to do in ministry and I have phone calls that I need to attend to. So if you are sending me anything, don't stop. I we are still accepting and receiving phone calls and prayers and everything. Listen, you're gonna need help. We all have to be in this together. We can't be out there in a separate place. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm just going to say that we are dealing with things you'd never dream of. That's all I'm going to say. And the body of Christ is not going to be ready for this. They're not going to be ready. But those that are putting on the full armor of God, those that have their foundation firm, they're going to make it. Even when they see all this, they're going to know what to do. They're going to have supernatural abilities in these times. So, that's where we are right now. I know that's not going to answer a lot of questions. I'm hoping to do a healing and a deliverance video 
in the very near future to just address a few things. Because I'm telling you, there are things going on that are spiritual, but yet they're physical. So stay tuned. Be praying, people. I don't put these videos out here for nothing. Be praying. I want you to have and know what's going on so that you know how to pray. You know how to ask for protection. Walk in the power and the anointing that God has given you. Learn to do that. You need to seek, seek, seek the truth. And it can only be found in the Word of God. There is a lot of mystery and secrecy surrounding what's really going on in the last days. And I would suggest you ask the Holy Spirit. All right. God bless you. Shalom. I've got to get going here. And I hope to talk to you soon.